good morning students today i am going to discuss about tissue before dealing this topic i would like to say something in this video we will discuss about tissue and importance of tissue so let us start tissue a group of cells that are similar in structures and or work together to achieve a particular function forms a tissue what is a tissue a group of cells that are similar in structures and or work together to achieve a particular function forms a tissue in another way we can say a tissue is a group of cells having a common origin and usually performing a common function or in another way we can say that a tissue is a group of cells or cluster of cells which work together to achieve a particular function and have common origin for example blood phloem xylem muscles bones etc the term tissue was coined by bichet in 1792 the branch of science that deals with the study of tissue is called histology it was founded by marcello malpighi commonly called father of animal histology while term histology was coined by mayer okay importance of tissue now the importance of tissue is as follow it is responsible for division of labor in multicellular organisms for example in human beings we find that muscle cells contract and relax to cause movement nerve cells carry messages blood flows to transport oxygen food hormones and waste materials and so on in plants muscular tissues conduct food and water from one part of the plant to other parts so multicellular organisms so division of labor so tissue is responsible for division of labor in multicellular organisms okay and next important stage it is responsible for primary and second secondary growth of the plant okay tissue is responsible for primary and secondary growth of the plant for example the increase in length of the shoot and root increase in the length of shoot and root by cell division in the apical meristem is called primary growth what is primary growth when increasing the length of the shoot and root by cell division in the apical meristem is called primary growth while increase in the girth that means thickness of the plant by cell division in the lateral meristem is called secondary growth it becomes organized to form organs and organs into organ system and complex organism that means the importance of tissue means tissue organized to form organs tissue organized to form organs and organs organized to form organ system and organ system organized to form a complex organism so these are the importance of tissue first importance is tissue is responsible for division of labor in multicellular organisms and second it is responsible for primary and secondary growth of the plant and third it becomes organized to form 
organs and organs into organ system and complex organism next are plant and animals made of same type of tissue plants and animals are noticeable differences they are plants are autotrophs while animals are heterotrophs plants can prepare their own food but animals cannot prepare their own food they depends on other sources for their food so and next plants are stationary or fixed they don't move plants are stationary or fixed they don't move while animals have to move in search of food mates and shelter most of the tissues of plants are dead we find that most of the tissues of plants are dead and provide mechanical strength as easily as live one and needs less maintenance while most of the tissue of animals are living and consume more energy okay the growth in plants is limited to certain regions while this is not so in animals we find that in plants growth is limited to certain regions while this is not so in animals there are some tissues in plants that divide throughout of their life these tissues are localized in certain regions okay in uh, in contrast to plants growth in animals is uniform so there is no such demarcation of dividing and non dividing regions in animals so in this way we can say that plants and animals made of different types of tissues okay not same types of tissues because there are following regions like plants are autotrophs and animals are heterotrophs plants are stationary but animals are not stationary they move for searching food mates and shelter and we find that the tissue of plants are dead so they did not required more maintenance but the mostly tissue of animal cells animals are living and they consume more energy and they need more maintenance and we find that the growth in plants is limited to certain regions and the growth of animals is uniform okay so in this way we can say that plants and animals are made up of different types of tissue now home assignment define tissue okay you can define tissue histology fill in the blanks dash coined the term histology and second dash is known as father of animal histology third dash is considered as founder of histology and next fourth number is dash is a group of cells which work together to achieve a particular function next study of tissue is called dash so i hope you can easily write the answer of given questions thank you